morning everyone welcome back to my channel today i am starting another work week in my life i was really hoping we would not be in quarantine this long but here we are so i'm going to show you my week it's a rainy day today which actually i'm kind of into because it hasn't rained in so long so it's kind of nice to feel cozy and i just got out of bed i body showered and i'm about to make an iced latte and then get to work I am craving pizza and I know you guys are going to judge me or at least some people will but I really want Little Caesars pizza and I know it is low tier pizza I understand but sometimes I just crave that low tier fake pizza over you know some real <laughs> high quality artisan pizza I might check Postmates I looked a little bit ago and I didn't see them on there and if I can't find Little Caesars I might need to you know settle for like Papa John's or some other low tier pizzas <laughs> Comment down below your favorite low tier pizza chain because I'm very interested. Okay guys, I ordered Papa John's but I think they gave me the wrong order because I ordered pepperoni and this is definitely like peppers. Guys, it wasn't that good but peppers were not it and now I have regrets as I always do when I order greasy pizza. Okay, so it is 2.36 right now. I am obviously still doing work stuff and I feel like I don't vlog during the day when I'm doing work stuff for Hype and Vice, but basically I'm still doing the same kind of things I was doing before, except now I am also restructuring and kind of creating and brainstorming the campus rep program because they had started one last year, but they weren't totally sure what they wanted to do with it, so I've kind of been restructuring that and i've started it for eight different schools so i've kind of been looking for girls for that and then creating those campus rep teams and then brainstorming what to do with those girls so that's kind of what i've been up to and then also just updating their pinterest and responding to emails and all that stuff so that's what i've been doing today and it's pretty much kind of that same thing especially right now where there's not much i can do content wise just because I'm in my apartment and I don't have access to all the new styles and stuff. But yeah, I am so thankful that I still have this job because I know so many people lost their jobs and I'm also thankful that I'm able to do it from home. So that is really nice. I'm going to continue working for a couple more hours and then I think I want to try and get some exercise or do something because I'm feeling so gross after that pizza. I just changed into a short sleeve shirt but I had to keep the tie-dye theme of the day. <laughs> it's about 4 p.m. now. I'm going to take a little break and go on a walk and I decided that I'm going to walk to the grocery store that's near me because I really want some olives. I've been out of olives for a while. <laughs> And I think I'm going to try and get some cheese too and maybe some wine. All that stuff really goes together. But I will be wearing a mask, but it's in my car. So I have to grab that before I leave. I am back from my walk. I'm looking so rough. I really need to shower. But on my walk, I was listening to Girls Gotta Eat. They're like my favorite podcast. And I may or may not have submitted one of my embarrassing stories to their podcast because sometimes they do a segment where they read people's like embarrassing phone mishaps. Your girl was featured. That story was painfully embarrassing, but at least now it's fully appreciated. I have talked about that story on my Instagram before, but go listen to their podcast and you guys might recognize it. <laughs> also, this is what I ended up getting from the store. Unfortunately, they did not have any olives. I really wanted the Kalamata olives and they didn't have any but they did have the cheese that i wanted this is my favorite cheese and there was only two oatleys left i thought there was one but then when i pulled this one out there was one behind it but i just grabbed one so someone else could have the other one and then i got a yellowtail sauvignon blanc because i already finished one you guys always ask me for wine racks but to be honest i'm still trying to figure out which ones i like the most but this one was really good so i like this one but yeah that's all i got from the store today I am about to pour myself a glass of rosé, but I wanted to show you guys this rosé because it's actually one of my friends from USC's family's wine brand. They are early bird wines. And then this pickle wine stopper 
one of my friends alexis actually gave to me and i just think it's so funny but i also use them all the time but yeah you guys can order their wine on their website so good and yeah definitely recommend i just packed up a few poshmark orders that i'm going to take to the post office nice and early tomorrow and make sure you guys are following me on poshmark if you have an account because i am definitely going to be posting a lot of items within the next couple of months can we just take a moment to reflect on how good these are i can't be the only one who is obsessed with these Good morning guys, so I just woke up and before I put any makeup on because I'm actually planning on putting some makeup on today, I wanted to take a minute to talk to you guys about my current skincare routine because I have been getting a lot of questions lately. So I will say when it does start to get warmer, I definitely spend a lot more time outside and I always do find that when I'm outside in the sun more, I like how my skin looks better. I get some color and I get some freckles, so that definitely plays a part in how my skin currently looks. But along with that, I have also been using Curology, so I just want to tell you guys a little bit about them. So in terms of my skin, I'm pretty lucky and I have fairly clear skin. I do have the occasional large pimple here and there and my skin does dry out pretty easily. So those are a few things that I like to kind of keep in mind when I'm looking for skincare. And ever since I started using Curology, I feel like it's done a really good job of just kind of keeping my skin in line and keeping it how I want it to be because right now is a prime time for me to be breaking out just because we're in such a stressful situation. So something that I really liked about Curology is that this bottle is customized and made just for you and your skincare concerns. So all I had to do was go on their website and take a little quiz about my skin and then upload some selfies of my skin. And after I did that, I was paired with a dermatology advisor and they analyzed my skin history and my skin regimen and my goals for my skin and they created this custom bottle for me that actually has my name on it and I just think it's so cool. I love when companies customize their products to you because it just feels a lot more individualized. These are what I've been using every night but I just want to talk to you guys about them in the morning when you guys can see my skin clearly. So you guys can sign up for Curology using my link in the description and you can get your first bottle absolutely free. You just pay $4.95 for shipping which I think is a really really great deal so definitely check down there if you guys are interested. So I just got ready. I put a little bit of makeup on just because I wanted to feel like a little bit more of a human and I'm wearing some workout clothes because I'm about to go on a little solo hike. The hike I am going on is the Los Leones hike in the Palisades. I definitely recommend it if you guys live in LA. It's not super hard but it's just the right workout and I think the view is really pretty and I've just found that spending time outside in quarantine really helps me feel more normal and just puts me in a better mood so yeah going on a hike is the move and i'm excited step one post office hand sanitizer and off to the hike all right i just parked disregard my dirty windshield <laughs> but this is kind of what the area looks like and i will of course show you guys the hike along the way but i will be filming on my phone because i don't want to bring my camera along I have my mask and what I did last time I did this hike because it was actually fairly busy but last time I came it was a weekend and today's a Tuesday so I'm hoping it won't be as busy but every time I passed someone I put it up and then when I was by myself not passing anyone I just put it down here so that's probably what I'm going to do again because it's very very difficult to hike with a mask on I found. I'm a little concerned because I have to pee slightly. Maybe there's bathrooms over here. I might look into that. Guys, I found the bathrooms, but they are locked. So <laughs> I'm just gonna hold it and hope for the best. done this hike so many times but I've never walked to this spot 
and I'm obsessed. Oh, oh my god! 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 I guess it could have been worse and I could have seen a mountain lion. So I'm gonna count that as a win. I am now back home from the hike. I will say it was successful except for the whole snake incident. That was very much not ideal. But I'm actually starving now because I didn't eat anything today. I just had some of my iced latte. So I just ordered some ramen because I had some expiring Postmates credits. So as always, I will have my Postmates and then Uber Eats and DoorDash codes all in my description so if you guys have not ordered from those places before you can get money off your orders and when you guys use those i get some credit as well so i'm using that credit to order some ramen because i have been craving ramen lately all right so my ramen has arrived and if you guys haven't ordered ramen before basically it comes in two separate containers and you just pour the broth on top of everything and here is how it's looking once i mix everything all together so a little project of the night i think i'm going to try and make a face mask out of this top so this top is super cute these girls on instagram made it for me and sent it to me along with a bunch of really cute tie-dyed sweats but this was just cropped a little bit too short for me my boobs were like out the bottom but i thought the material was super cute and i love how they tie-dyed it so i thought i could use it to make a face mask because right now this is the only face mask that I have. I don't have elastic or anything for these things, but I figured I could use this if I just cut this piece off and use that for the little thingies <laughs> on each side. So I'm going to try this and obviously I know this is not going to be medical grade or anything, but in LA we are required to wear these in a lot of places, whether they are medical grade or not. There are a lot of patterns online, but I think I might just wing it <laughs> and kind of trace this shape on this piece of newspaper and then hope for the best. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, here's my little makeshift pattern. I'm going to trace this on each side and then cut out two pieces. And I just need to do a little disclaimer. This might not work at all. So don't take this as a tutorial unless this does end up working. All right, here are my pieces. I have the two sides of the mask that i'm going to sew together and then i have these two little pieces that i'm in theory going to sew on the sides here we go okay guys i feel like it's not horrible like it's definitely not perfect but it does the job and it fits so yeah i mean like it's a little bit big i can probably make the straps a little tighter but once again not horrible. Here's what it looks like off my face. It's kind of hard to see the tie-dye, but yeah, not bad. Took me a little bit longer than I thought I had to hand sew these little guys on. I literally feel so much better after washing my face and showering and having clean hair, but I am sad about something. So if you guys have been following my vlogs and my channel for a while. You might know that when I moved in here, I had a bad fruit fly problem and I think I brought it here from my previous place. And I could not completely get rid of them until my mom came, of course. Moms can fix anything. But my apartment has been clear of fruit flies for like five months. And then all of a sudden, recently, they have come back. So I'm doing the apple cider vinegar in a jar with dish soap trick to catch them in there but then i also did the thing that my mom did that i'm hoping will fix it i poured like boiling water and bleach down the sink drain because i think that's where they're coming from because they're like around my sink area mainly and then i put the little sink stopper there and i'm gonna try and leave it closed for as long as possible and hopefully that will get rid of them because i'm so nervous that they're going to come with me to my next place like they did last year. So crossing my fingers, I can get rid of them. If you guys have any other tips, let me know. I really don't leave fruit or produce or really any food out ever and they just appear in my sink. So I think it must be like in my drain or something, but yeah, it's really gross and hopefully I can get rid of them. I just made popcorn and I have a little recommendation. This is only if you're not looking for healthy popcorn because this is definitely horrible for you, but I have this movie theater butter topping 
and I just put a little bit over top of the popcorn which is already <laughs> butter flavored and it's really good but yeah definitely horrible for you but I still kind of recommend it good night another day another iced latte happy Wednesday I'm about to join my work Google Hangout video chat for the week and I look like this exactly how I looked when I woke up. So I have my pajamas on, I have my hair untouched from sleeping, I have no makeup. If you guys have to do work FaceTimes, do you get ready because my bosses told us they want our videos on. So I tried the whole no video thing at first but uh, <laughs> I have to have my video on so I just got off my work call and for lunch I'm going to make this pasta salad mix. <laughs> I always used to have this growing up and I'm going to try and make it and I think I'm going to try and add any veggies that I have in my fridge that haven't gone bad. So we will see but I love a good pasta salad. So I was being impatient and this would definitely taste a little bit better if I left it in the fridge for a while longer. But I'm hungry, so this is what my pasta salad looks like. All I really had to add was onion and then some cubed up mozzarella. Okay, I'm on to ice latte number two of the day. Honestly, that pasta salad was not that good and it just tasted so oily. So I think I'm gonna leave it in there for like a day or like overnight and see if it tastes better tomorrow once everything is kind of soaked in. But I did eat some of it and like I said, onto my latte and continuing with work for the day. I'm just now realizing that I haven't shown my face <laughs> like all day. So here it is, it's almost 4 p.m. And I just ordered Amazon Fresh. I think we've finally gotten to the point in quarantine where Amazon Fresh is readily available because I was able to book it for a few hours from now. But what I am very excited about is there was one type of toilet paper left and available. And I have not been able to get toilet paper <laughs> since quarantine started. And my parents had sent me some in the mail. So that's what I've been using. But I only have one roll left right now. So when I saw it available on Amazon Fresh, I knew I had to place an order. So I basically ordered the toilet paper and then I ordered ingredients to make these really good enchiladas that I've made through HelloFresh before, but I've also just made them like remaking the recipes. So I ordered that stuff and that should be coming within like three or four hours, I think. My Amazon Fresh delivery arrived, but guys, it came. <laughs> Okay, here is my haul. I have obviously the toilet paper. I got some grapes because I haven't had grapes in forever and they sounded really good. Then for the enchiladas, I got a tomato, some green onions, a poblano pepper, green chili sauce, black beans. Oh, and then some Mexican cheese. So those are all the things I got for the enchiladas, which I will probably make tomorrow and then everything else i just got some dry roasted salted peanuts as a snack i got some more vanilla syrup just for my iced lattes i haven't really been eating breakfast because i'm not super hungry but i figured these could be good if i just wanted to eat something so i figured i would try these some more apple cider vinegar because of my fruit fly problem and then two large Zico coconut waters. Honestly, Zico is probably my favorite coconut water. So that is everything that I got from Amazon Fresh. I took a little break from editing and did my nails with my dip kit. I will link it down below, but I think they look pretty good. I kind of want to order more colors because I'm getting sick of the colors that I have and a lot of them are really dark and I want some lighter colors for the summertime. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. I've been editing this vlog and i don't even have it all the way up until real time and it's already like 15 minutes long so i'm thinking that i might end this vlog tonight and then continue thursday and friday's vlog days into a new video because i want to be posting more especially in quarantine i feel like you guys want more videos so if i could still have videos that are at least around 15 minutes long and have two a week instead of one I think that might be the move, but that's what I'm thinking. I'm also thinking I'm gonna go eat some of those grapes that I got. I literally have not had grapes in so long. Wow, these are bomb and I do not regret <laughs> my decision one bit. I just now realized that I never ended off this vlog, but I've literally gone down a rabbit hole and I've been stalking Tana Mojo's Instagram for the past like 30 minutes 
and all I have to say is if you have not done this recently it's really an entertaining ride so go check that out and as always thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video bye